Hello, welcome back to the next chapter, which is types of business organizations. Right, so these are the learning outcomes for today. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to identify different forms of business organization and list the advantages and disadvantages of each of these forms of business organization. So let's start. Okay, BO stands for business organization. There are a few types of business organization, which is public limited companies, sole traders, partnership, private limited companies, franchises, and joint ventures. First, we look into sole traders. Okay, what does it mean by sole traders? Sole trader means business owned by one person. The advantages of setting up a sole trader is few legal regulations to follow has complete control over the business, close contact with the customer, does not have to share the profits, complete secrecy in business matters. How, but then there are disadvantages of setting up a sole trader, which are no one to discuss with, do not have the benefit of limited liability, source of finance is limited, remain small, cannot offer much training for workers, and no continuity of business. Next is partnership. Partnership means two or more people agree to jointly own a business. The advantages of setting up partnership would be more capital could now be invested. Responsibilities of running the business were now shared. Both partners motivated to work hard as they both benefit from the profits. However, to set up a partnership, there will be no limited liability, does not have separate legal identity. Partners can disagree with the business decision. If one of the partners dishonors, the other partner could suffer loss and only limited to 20 partners. Okay, next, private limited companies. Private limited company mean business owned by shareholders, but they cannot sell shares to the public. The advantages of carrying out or setting up the private limited company will be the shares can be sold to a large number of people, but could not be advertised to the public. All shareholders have limited liability and the people who started the company able to keep control. The disadvantages will be significant legal matters which have to be dealt with before a company can be formed and shares cannot be sold or transferred to anyone else without agreement. And last one, the accounts of the company are less secret. Public limited company means business owned by shareholders but they can sell shares to the public. Their shares are tradable on their stocks exchange. The advantages of setting up public limited company would be limited liability to shareholders, incorporated business, opportunity to raise very large capital sums, no limit to the number of the shareholders, no restrictions on buying, selling or transfers of shares, and it's easier to attract suppliers. The disadvantages would be legal formalities of forming a company, more regulations and controls, selling shares to the public is expensive and divorce between ownerships and control. Uh, so that's all about the public limited company. All right. Uh, thank you for paying attention. I'll see you guys later.